Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this YouTube video. Today we are going to be talking about the Azure Security Center. So before we start, we'll talk about why do we need Azure Security Center. So um, in Azure, it, it's important to understand that there's some sort of responsibility of security on your side. As, as a consumer or as a customer uh, who uses the services, you are responsible for some sort of security within, within the uh, workload that you put in Azure. So Microsoft essentially uh, looks after all the data center security side of things, so like um, the building security, the um, the security within the host operating systems, the security within the Azure software that's running in the data centers. That's all secured by Microsoft, and they uh, that's responsibility of Microsoft to look at the Azure uh, data center side of things. But when it comes to the workload that you put in, it's a it's it's a shared responsibility between you and Microsoft. So um, yeah, so it's it's important to understand like what sort of responsibilities you have. So it's like for like virtual machines um, and uh, like storage and applications that you do. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, like for storage, you encrypt the data and even for virtual machines, you keep the uh, operating system of the virtual machine safe enough. Uh, with properly patched and etc and also um, applications if you're publishing it out to the internet um, you, you need to secure you need to publish it out securely and then make it make sure that the application is secure uh, uh, deployed in a secure way so those sort of responsibilities are there so the purpose of Azure Security Center is to actually uh, monitor those security um, uh, scenarios within the Azure environment and then highlight if there's any vulnerabilities identified, highlight it to you or to the customers who is using it uh, so that you are aware of uh, the vulnerabilities that uh, you're, that's, that are in your environment. So yeah, so basically um, let's, yeah, let's start. So I'll walk, in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be walking you through the security center and I'm gonna be showing and explaining you what sort of features are there and how do you understand the the vulnerabilities i didn't uh, il illustrated or pointed out and how do you remedi remediate them and what the features what features does this have um, and etc so let's let's get started without uh, talking much so this is the uh, azure security center dashboard when you lo uh, when you log into your subscription and if you go to the security center on the side uh, this is where it lands on you so if you haven't enabled Azure Security Center in your subscription, you first need to enable it. And I'll show you how that's done. But in this dashboard, what it gives you is a unified visibility and control over your uh, subscription and the resources that you have. So if you have multiple subscriptions, Azure Security Center can also look at multiple uh, subscriptions. Um, yeah, so let's first of all, in this video, we'll look at how you enable that and then how uh, how we can uh, leverage the features that's in there to uh, to have to get visibility into the uh, vulnerabilities. So first of all, you, if you haven't enabled it, you need to go to the security center and choose the subscription that you want to enable. And then when you select the subscription, then you need to uh, enable data collection on the subscription. So recently, few things, few changes were made into the security center. And now everything in security center is backed by the data in the OMS workspaces. So y you first need to collect that. You need to turn on the data collection on the subscription and then select what uh, work, uh, what OMS works for workspace uh, that it needs to look at. So. Uh, by default, it creates a uh, OMS workspace uh, in, when you enable Azure Security Center. But if you have already got a workspace, you can um, you can choose that workspace and you can um, move ahead with uh, or you can choose to go uh, um, go ahead with that existing workspace. Um, so once so you can select if there's anything existing already, you can select them. But in this case, I'm going to keep it to my um, default one that's created. Um, so next up, we need to decide how much or what's the volume of data that you want to collect from the uh, from the OMS workspace. So in this case, like you can select minimum or, or common events and all events. So minimum will give you the security um, center logs or security um, audit logs, and uh, all events will uh, collect all the event logs on on the virtual machines itself. 
So once you have turned on data collection, it will take some time and then it will populate the data uh, to the security center. Um, next thing is uh, is the security policy. So security policy governs uh, what you want to get visibility into. So it's like the fuse box in your car where you control what sort of uh, dashboard lights uh, you want to enable if there's any um, problems in your car. So uh, this uh, this way you can uh, like if, I, if for instance if you don't want some of the features or recommendations provided by the security center for instance if you don't want uh, uh, disk encryption um, recommendations from the security center you can turn them off um, and then you can fine tune the recommendations that you want in the security center S um, so one, once you configure this um, security policy um, you can save the security policy. In this case, I'm gonna keep it to all of the security policy controls, and then you have to configure the mail notification. So there's a alerting feature um, in the security center. You can enable that, uh, like when whenever there's an alert, you that will emails will go into this mailbox that you configured. Next up is the pricing tier. So you have two tiers of pricing. You have the free version and the standard version. So in the free version, it's it's enabled for all the Azure virtual machines, and uh, it will give you a base security assessment, uh, security rec recommendations, base security policy, and also the connected partner solutions. So it won't give you the just-in-time VM access um, applica adaptive application controls and any detection capabilities. So all these detection and uh, JIT and the other application controls, they are coming in the standard version. And if you want to get them, then you need to enable uh, standard version and it will cost you per node uh, $15 per month as well. Uh, so that's all US dollars. And uh, for instance, in my case, it will be charged um, as per the Australian dollars. So that's, yeah, that's how you enable uh, security center. So once you have enabled security center that way, it will take some time for RIP to digest um, the uh, digest the information that it uh, gets, and then it will um, uh, probably after a few hours, it will give you th this nice little dashboard summarizing all your vulnerabilities in the environment. Um, I'm seeing a lot of red in this case because I deliberately did that uh, in order for 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 me to explain uh, the uh, the recommendations and etc. So yeah, don't be scared about my environment. Um, so next in this in I think I'll um, stop this video f um, f from here and then I'll uh, start another video um, in and discuss the prevention and detection uh, capabilities and then. Uh, yeah, I'll explain you how, how those recommendations can be remediated and etc. Thank you very much for watching this video and hope you will have a nice day. Thank you.